Howdy, hello, got another one for you using more or less kind of the same team I used last time. I forgot which one of these battles I took first, but I'm pretty sure uh, Victini and Gogo and Weavile were constants, and the only things that have been swapped out are basically Heliolisk, Metagross, and Hitmontop. I think this kind of worked out a little bit better for me, I don't remember, but uh, this is from my stream once again a little while back. And hey, you know what? I see a Primeamp on the man's team. Man wants to use a Primeamp, let him. It's cool. Uh, I got some weird stuff, you know, he's got some stuff that will undoubtedly do fantastic in OU, and then he's got a Prime and I feel like in that sense, you know, it could be it be, could be kind of fun. So, uh, I decided to lead off with my Healy Lisk. I scarfed the little guy this time, so if he wants to go for a scarf, you turn as well. Uh, that's fine. I know I will get a Volt Switch off before him, though, so there's that, and I get to Volt Switch out into my Hitmontop, uh, get the Intimidate off before he wants to do anything else. Turns out he's just going to go straight for the throat with the close combat. Uh, definitely would have taken me out if I was not Timid Scarf, but because I am, I was able to get out of there right in time, get the Intimidate off, and Hitmontop shrugs it off rather nicely. So. He gets to switch out right now. I don't really have anything I can do in response. I kind of had a feeling he was gonna gonna go into Clefki, but you know what? Toxic is toxic. If I go for it, great. The only other thing I really feel like I could have done is doubled out, or I I don't know could have just gone for close combat. Probably would have done that much anyways. But I am kind of fearing the fact that he could have T Wave going on, which is why I decided to go back into my Healy list and uh, I get to fire off some T bolts. Uh, although he is gonna get both screens up. Hey, you know what? I'll just I'll go for it anyway. I'll see how much it does. Uh, and then I don't know whether or not he has light clay. I'm not seeing lefty, so he could. Uh, in comes Ampharos. I've never seen such a pitifully low amount from a Thunderbolt to any Pokemon ever. That is probably like a 16 to 20 hit KO. It is just disgusting. And on top of that, after he Mega Evolves, which, oh, believe me, he's going to Mega Evolve. And he's going to turn into this thing with like a strawberry pink skin and the, the hair and... Jesus, wow, look at that. That's it, it looks it looks tasty is what it looks like. But he goes for a focus blast. Um, just to try to take out the Heliolisk, I believe. And then he spends the entire match going for Focus Blast on Gogo. I'm getting a little ahead of myself, but it turns out that the reason he's doing that is because he kept thinking that Gogo was part normal. I think it ends up doing around as much as a stab Dragon Pulse anyway. If Dragon Pulse is 80, which I kind of feel like it is. Don't quote me on that just yet. I actually have Servi open in another tab. Um, but I get a Leech, so Leech Seed off on the Town Flame. I know I can take just about anything else that wants to fire at me reasonably with hit him on top unless it's a brave bird and then he just sword stances which is just like holy shit i do not want to work around with that uh turns out dragon pulse is 90 by the way i totally spaced on that so dragon pulse would have been a little bit better and on top of that uh it wouldn't have had the chances to miss but i feel like because i'm a special defensive go goat didn't really end up mattering too much in the long run if i'm not mistaken so he gets some uh, jesus look at him go he's getting so greedy this is absolutely terrifying. Talonflame is now at plus three attack. Uh, I decided to go for a Toxic. That was a pretty ballsy move on my behalf. Uh, me thinking I was going to take a plus one Brave Bird from a Talonflame. Don't know how I would have taken it in response, but I do have Toxic and I do have Leech Seed working with me. I also have Fake Out on my Weavile. You guys have learned that from the last game, meaning that I can just effectively eliminate one turn because Fake Out has priority over Brave Bird because of... Um, Fake Out has elevated priority. I don't know whether or not I could have taken a plus one Brave Bird, but I'm definitely not taking a plus three. Uh, I get some recoil, and I also get some toxic working in my favor. But uh, yeah, Weavile is actually looking like it's going to be able to come in here and clean stuff up because uh, I can just go for a Fake Out. I don't know if I can go for an Ice Shard, but I'm pretty sure Fake Out will do a nice chunk to it to the point where Leech Seed and Life Orb, or not Leech Seed, Leech Seed and Toxic We'll be able to take it out. And then I actually just took it out by only going for one attack. And status effects uh, just kind of worked out there. Is, did I miss the talk? Oh, no, there it is. There it is. It dies. The bird dies. Fantastic. So that was a really huge threat. I honestly did not know how else it was going to end up playing around that. So that was pretty scary. I don't know why I let it escalate to that. But to be fair, I didn't really have a lot, like, prepared for it. Um, maybe Victini could have taken a hit. But realistically, probably not. So... Uh, I get to go into my Metagross right now because I actually lost my switch in for Primeape. I figure, eh, this will do alright. I mean, it's got HP, so it'll be kind of bulky. I can do that. Uh, ended up going for a Bullet Punch. It was really obvious. I honestly don't really care either way. Uh, he ended up misclicking right here on the screens, by the way. I ended up going for an Earthquake, but it turns out I think he's a Bold Klefki. 
to, or Boulder and Ibish one, or whatever the cool kids are running these days. But um, he went for the light screen first. He gets to go through for the reflect on this next turn. And uh, I believe actually end up taking the earthquake, which was kind of important. He also, I also learned he had the citrus berry. So while it sucks that I'm not going to get to take him out, it actually stalls out one more turn of screens on his behalf because he doesn't have the light clay going. Uh, I find that light clay probably would have been a little bit better in that scenario. Uh, and had he just gone for a reflect in the first place, that would have worked out a little better. But I learned he also doesn't have T-Wave on the set because I see foul play and then I also see spikes. But just get to go for Volt Switch and knock out the Klefki. Wasn't really a huge threat, but screens definitely could have been a little more annoying if he had Light Clay instead of Citrus Berry. Uh, I decided to go into Weavile off of this Volt Switch because, hey, I can fake out anything that comes in if it ends up being an unfavorable matchup. Uh, Primeup decides to come in, and then I think he just switches out immediately into his Mega Ampharos. Uh, I'm actually glad it Megaed because now I there's no risk of me getting static whatsoever. Uh, I can get a little bit of damage off on it and then secure the KO with the Icicle Crash. I'm not sure how much it would have done, whether or not it would have KO'd it from full. Uh, but regardless, I did get to stall out another turn of screens by forcing the switch. So all I realistically have to do is just sit in here until Reflect wears off, and then once Weavile can come in on the Ampharos, I can just knock it out. So uh, Focus Blast does a pretty good chunk right there. Um, I'm pretty sure he would have ended up being slower anyway because, oh my god, Mega Ampharos is so slow. But I get to go for a Milk Jerk on this one and uh, just get around half of my HP back. And uh, I think that, oh yeah, this is the first battle I took because I forgot to put an item on this stupid Go-Goat. And that's why, that's partially why the other game took so long. It, we actually saw Lefty's animation on that. But this was one of the Go-Goat's first matches, I guess. Lefty's recovery would have been nice in there. Um, it turns out I'm just going to switch out into my Victini to take the close combat. Uh, I don't actually end up taking it all that well. And I think this is a band. I think I put a choice band on the Victini for this game. Which is why uh, the U-turn, although resisted, is still going to do a good amount. And then close combat, he's at like minus 4 or 5 at this point. And I thought for sure he would have switched out. But he didn't. And I was like, oh shit, this probably isn't going to knock it out. But he does have a lot of lower defenses. And fortunately the primate goes down. Uh, I'm able to U-turn out of there, decide to go into my Weavile because once again I can just fake out anything that comes in. Uh, now that primate has gone, it definitely leaves Weavile a nice little window where it can do shenanigans. Uh, Greninja kind of blocks the path, but I'm not as threatened by it as you might think. So I believe I just ended up going for a fake out on this one anyway, just to get some more damage off. I mean, why not? Greninja's kind of fragile. I'm pretty sure I naturally outspeed it anyway. And uh, we'll just do that. My entire plan was just to fake out and then switch out. But now that Ampharos is in here, I'm going to try to go for the kill on this one with the Icicle Crash. And it just does a nice, comfortable amount to the point where it knocked it out. I don't know how many of those fake outs I really needed to ensure the KO or whether or not I needed any in the first place. But hey, security, security, it's nice. And then he brings in his other dragon, and I miss, a, 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 I miss an Icicle Crash. I'm not even going to go back and edit that. But he DDs in my face. Holy crap, the stones on this guy. They must chafe his legs so hard when he walks because, wow, that was, that was terrifying. Thankfully, he did not go for another Dragon Dance. It actually turned out to not end up mattering at all because I do have Fake Out and Ice Shot on my Weavile. I was talking during the stream like that was game, blah, 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 all that stuff. You know, lull if he's listening into a false sense of security. Never trust the streamer. You already have advantage by noting, noticing how much HP I have in the first place. But I go for the Fake Out to break the multi-scale. And then Ice Shard just shits on this D Knight's day. I did not know that it would take it out from full just by having the multi-scale broken. Weavile putting in a good amount of work. Love it. Ah, uh, and then Greninja comes in. And then I'm just going to go for an Icicle Crash. If I get the flinch, that's fantastic. Weavile just became MVP of my entire life. And I actually think I do end up getting the flinch, which um, I was honestly going for by going for Icicle Crash. Otherwise, I would have gone for two Night Slashes. Don't get a crit on that. If I got a crit on that one, whew, that would have been hilarious. And Weavile would have just shit on everybody's day. Weavile is fun this generation. If you don't have one yet, try it. Icicle Crash is fun. Uh, but I get to go into my Heliolisk at this point. 
we've all just put so much of a hole in the team that I'm able to just go for T-Bolt. Uh, absolutely, you know, risk-free. The only thing left to it was week two electric anyway. And uh, that's the game. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, you can definitely leave a like rating. Uh, comment, subscribe, do your thing. Got some more videos backed up after this. Maybe they're in the process of being recording, I would hope. Uh, and I'll just do my best to get these out as I can. We at least have videos on Monday and Tuesday. That's fun. I'll see what happens uh, after that point. And, uh, yeah, see you guys on the next one.